Bam! Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel guys, my name is Didi. Today, Saturday, 21st of January, a short TA video because Bitcoin is moving again in the weekend. So let's quickly jump into the charts to show you what is happening at the moment. Um, let's go over BAM here. Um, we are uh, gonna start with this chart and then my fist on the right place. Look what beautiful, yes, behind the green screen, not in my garden, so you can have a beautiful view of my face without any other background. <laughs> uh, OBS does magic, guys. Now, uh, really cool, if you wanna trade all the things that I'm gonna talk about, then please use Bybit. Up to 30,000 US dollar bonus. $30 for just joining Bybit by clicking the link down below this video or scanning this QR code, or, and then you can get up to 30,000 US dollar bonus for uh, depositing some Bitcoins over there. So be aware, I always trade on BAM Bybit. Now, um, if we look at the charts at the moment, this is a very beautiful chart. It's the one hour chart. We can see that again, the BAM BAM indicator, beautiful long over there, closing above the yellow stepping line. The blue line was above the white line. Blue stopping, green beginning, quadruple confirmation, a beautiful long of how many percent? If you would have got out here, 7.15 percent. If you stayed in because there was no candle closing down below the yellow stepping line, you would be even around 8.5 percent in profit at the moment without leverage. With leverage, of course, way more. If you want more information, then go to the Bitcoin family to come. The Bitcoin family .com. You will find all the information on the BAM, BAM indicator, guys. Now, BAM, zoom out a little bit over here. Um, we are looking now at the day chart and in this day chart uh, we can see again that we are breaking those resistance lines these lines are the uh, orange lines beautiful bitcoin color i chose that one for today um yes we are breaking them we we are moving already above the 200 day moving average which if we look back in history is a very important move because if you look back in history we have done this already a couple of times in the last couple of weeks uh, but if you look back in history every time when we break those levels that's at a yellow circle bam bull market yellow market here again when we break that line, bam, bull market. When we break that line here again, bam, bull market. So, yes, I think it's very important that we just broke that 200-day uh, moving average. But even more important, if we look at really close into today, um, we are breaking all the resistance levels that are there. This is the resistance level over here. We broke it. We just smashed the 21,800 level. And now we are going for the next resistance level at like uh, 24,140. Why is this resistance? Look to the left and you will see there's a lot of volume being traded over there. And here as well, there was a moment that we took time to break that level. So um, that is the stop that we can see uh, for the next couple of days. That will be the target in my opinion. Um, also guys, if we check uh, the volume over here, uh, look, we are just smashing all these volume levels, going above them. And to be very honest, if you just look out to the, the bigger picture now, that the next huge volume here is at 30K, 30,000 US dollar. Between, it's one big gap. It's like not that many, not, not that much resistance. It's easy normally when the market starts to move to break through these levels up to 30k so bitcoin can um, probably surprise us in the next couple of weeks uh, because nobody was expecting that most of people were still expecting 12k 10k dd we're going to crash to zero so we didn't guys um, we did the opposite we broke to 21k and now we are up even higher um, and if you look at this chart here of course the weekly we zoom out a little bit more and um, that green dollar line i drew the other line weeks ago i said that will be the level of the new um, um, lower high it is already that lower high we are now at that dotted white line that i read through also for weeks ago like to, that i told you and I, this will be the resistance in the next couple of uh, weeks um, and we are reaching that resistance this candle is going to close in one day and 13 hours are we going to close above the dotted line uh, are we going to close at that dotted line that is now the important question in the next 48 hours if we find resistance, yes, we could fall back again. Like, if this is resistance, yes, we could pull back again and try again, maybe over there. And then hunt again for the two on a weekly moving average. That could be the Bitcoin move. Um, if we break this level, beautiful like this, yes, we could go to the two on a weekly, come back, retest that line, and then again go up. 
these are the moves that Bitcoin normally does. So that's like in a weekly time frame. So it will take a couple of weeks before these things uh, play out like the way I said it. Now, um, let's jump quickly in Tom, into some really cool information over BAM here. This is the first one. Now, this one is really interesting because how bullish is Bitcoin at the moment? That's the question that everybody is asking. Like, how bullish are we? Now, we are pretty bullish. We are that bullish that we're almost making a new record because the Bitcoin's longest win streaks, like the number of days that Bitcoin is increasing in price, in 2013, it was 15 days in a row increasing in price. And then in uh, July, it was here 10 times. And in September 2017, the bull was 10 times. Now we are at 14 times. If we will increase one or two more days in Bitcoin price, the next couple of days, we will break the record of the most streaks in a row for Bitcoin, like in the full history of Bitcoin. That is how bullish we are. We are really bullish, bullish, bullish. This move is like bullish, okay? And I hope you understand how bullish this move is. It's like it didn't happen, it didn't happen many times before that we increased in Bitcoin price so many days after each other. Bam, 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 bam. Already two weeks. Let's see if we can make a new record. Now, uh, another very important chart is this one. This one is the Bitcoin uh, percentage of supply that is in profit. Also very important to see how many Bitcoin holders are in profit. We are at the moment at that dotted line level over there. And that means that almost 67.5% of the market is in profit. There's a shitload of Bitcoins that is in profit. How do they calculate it? They can see when the Bitcoins were bought. They can see how, met, how much the Bitcoins are worth today. So you can see which Bitcoins are in profit, which Bitcoins are in the profit. Bitcoins bought at like 60K, 50K, and 40K, they are not in profit. But all the Bitcoins lower um, that you bought below the level of today, they are all in profit. This is in a seven day moving average. Really interesting to see what is happening because the more people will be in profit, the less selling pressure there will be. So. 30k is this level where these people maybe will be taking some profits and then maybe the Bitcoin price will correct a little bit. You know how the game goes. Now, very important. Now, if we look to these people over here, um, that, that I refer to the people that are like in, in euros and dollars and all other uh, currencies uh, all over the world, um, they are not that big in profit. Like they are in loss. <laughs> Why are they in loss? Um, because if you look, at all those currencies in 2022, people might think, ah, we did such a beautiful year, we made so many profit. No, check the double digit inflation numbers that you will see on this chart. Just pause, pause the video and check it for yourself. Like people in Zimbabwe, the life became 269% more expensive. Argentina, 88%. And just check the whole chart, Iran, 52%. These people, they might still have the same amount of euros or dollars on Zimbabwe currency or Argentina pesos, whatever. They might still have the same amount of those pesos, but they can't buy shit for them anymore. So that is also a huge loss. So these people are losing, while the people that are in Bitcoin, 67.5% of those people is in profit. That was everything for today, guys. If you did like this video, give the video a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. What do you think about all the charts? What do you think about this massive Bitcoin move? And then we're almost breaking the record. Uh, really interesting information also in the other charts. Thank you for watching. I wish you an amazing Saturday evening and a beautiful Sunday and see you Monday again. Bam.